John and Sarah are each saving money for a car, and the total amount John will save is given by the function f of x, right, equals 60 plus 5x. So I'll write that down. f of x equals 60 plus 5x. And Sarah, same idea, is she's g of x equals x squared plus 46. How many weeks will I have the same amount of money? So I'll set the equations equal to each other, and we're going to solve for x. Um, since we have an x squared in the mix, we're probably going to use some kind of factoring, possibly quadratic formula. I'm going to get 0 on one side by subtracting 60 and 5x. This will help me solve for x squared. I generally try to get 0 on one side of the equation when I'm solving for x squared. Negative 60 and 46 is negative 14. And then I can factor this, solve for x. I'm trying to look for two numbers that multiply a negative 14, but add to negative 5. So that's when we have uh, negative 7 and positive 2. Now, the product of these two is 0. That'll happen when x is 7, because 7 minus 7 is 0, and 0 times 9 is still 0. The other time it happens is when we have x is negative 2. So negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and negative 2 minus 7 is negative 9, so the whole product is 0. But they want to know how many weeks these two will have the same. We can't have negative two weeks, so we choose seven. And to explain, they ask you to explain this, you could say you set the two equations equal to each other to find when they are, to solve for x and find when they're equal. And then you only use when x is seven because you can't have a negative number of weeks. So saying something like that in your explanation uh, will certainly help. Thank you.